Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day to be alive, and it's an even better day to just do car stuff because I love doing car stuff every day. We're going to start with the Audi today because the Audi has been neglected. We got covered in bugs, covered in dirt because it's rained like three times a day for the past week and a half. So it's been super annoying not being able to have the car clean. We looks like we have some clear days ahead of us, hopefully. So I think we're going to start with getting the Audi clean, and I think we're actually going to take off the side skirts in today's video. I don't know what i just i want to do a front lip on the car but the only front lips that match the side skirt i have to buy and then cut up and retrofit because nothing they make nothing for this facelift a3 8p they make a bunch of stuff for the older generation which is the pre-facelift that has the more rounded bumper but the facelift they make like hardly anything for it maxton makes a couple of things for it like a front lip and side skirts but they're expensive they break easy if i've been told and i'd like to drive the car low and having super aggressive Lamborghini side skirts with no front lip kind of looks weird to me. So I don't know. We'll decide here in a minute. Let's get a cold start and get her washed up because I feel so bad it looks like this. And clean out inside the wheel wells make sure we spray the tires and get the wheels all done because you know how we tuck all the way down to here we want to make sure we get the wheel nice and clean so cue the time lapse of cleaning the car can't decide on the side skirts right now so I put up an Instagram pool but I just I'm gonna say screw it and I'm just gonna do a wiper delete real quick this yellow tint like fog light tint left over from when I actually bought new fog lights when we had the Outback bumper on the Forester and I was going to tint the fog lights yellow to put back on the Forester but then I got in the car accident got the new bumper which doesn't have fog lights and I got this yellow fog light tint so I think I'm just going <laughs> to tint the fog lights on the Audi yellow because I don't know what else to do. Wiper delete came out fire though I got to clean up around it still. As you saw, we did the yellow fog lights. I thought that's just a nice little touch on the front end before we get a lip, because it needs a lip badly. The poll so far is on Instagram, all of you want me to get a front lip, so we might just leave the side skirts on. And then we also debadged it. It looks so much better without badges. So much better without badges. And we cut everything off from underneath and all the brackets that you used to be able to see. You might have to bend it up a little bit further, but it's mostly all gone that you can't see it anymore. Absolute money. I'm actually gonna go get an alignment done on Gronda right now. That's how we're gonna finish off today's video. I have not, I have not gotten the alignment done since the car accident. So we need the alignment because of the car accident and the steering wheel was a little bit off. So I'm sure the alignment's not perfect. I'm curious to see how close it is. And then also we just did the rear axles in the last video that you saw and we had to take all, everything apart and I had to guess on the camera and everything. So we're about to find out to see how close the alignment actually is or how bad it actually is. But we're gonna go, finally go get an alignment done right now. Oh, 
Oh, there's the alignment rack. Okay. Let's pull on in. On the plates, a little more. Yeah, I'll figure that out in a second. I think this is gonna be a decent ride height. Obviously, you know, we drive lower than that, but we're getting ready for the Idaho show, so I gotta make sure I can make it there on a decent alignment. Then we had to zip tie this one on. The other ones don't seem to clear enough, but not this one. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was. The rear is worse than it used to be, because that's that's seized. Can't touch that, it's seized, I can't touch it. So it didn't used to be that bad. This isn't that bad. That's pretty bad, but I can't touch it. Well, we're just gonna touch the front. That's it. Also, negative 10, negative 9.4, rear, negative 9.04, negative 9.42. It's all within a degree. That's pretty good. It's fine, bro. It's fine. It's fine. The alignment is Gucci besides the rear, obviously, but that's all seized as it always has been. Front of my front alignment, though, is Gucci. I hate myself. I forgot to use the steering wheel holder, and it's not straight. Ah! I hate when steering wheels aren't straight, bro. It drives me insane. It's okay, I'll just fix it. It's fine. I can just pull off the hub and just move it over like two notches and then we'll be chilling. I don't think it, I don't even know where the end of this vlog is gonna be, <laughs> but I actually ended up taking off the side skirts, even though the Instagram poll said, leave them on. 87% said leave them on and buy a front lip. Um, but the issue was I noticed that the passenger side was sagging really bad. I think someone stepped on it. It was sagging really bad. So I took off the passenger side just to see how I liked it with it off. And I aired the car down because I, would ha I was going to have to remount it anyways. Um, I just decided that I'm going to leave them off. Because I think I'm going to make a lip kit for it or buy a whole new lip kit for it. That doesn't include the Lamborghini side skirts because nothing else matches the Lamborghini side skirts. There's nothing else that kind of carbon that I can put on the front that's not that's gonna be real, that's gonna match the aggressiveness and whatnot. The lip I used to have matched it decent, but it was a hydro dipped carbon. It was a fake lip for an RS3 that I retrofitted and it didn't even look that good. Only the driver side looked good and then the passenger side was all like flared up and I couldn't figure it out. Anyways, we're gonna leave it clean looking for now. I think it looks clean that the front bumper now matches the body lines of the side skirt, which now matches the body lines of the rear. I think the car is going to look mint and clean this way. However, I know it does need a lip kit. I guess we might just end this vlog with me driving Shokan's car because he's going to film rollers of it and he needs a driver. So that's me. We're bringing all the race cars out tonight, boys. We're out here filming some sort of reel, I think. I don't, I don't know exactly what we're doing out here, but we're doing something. I guess we're about to find out. Okay, we got Bram. What up? We're about to film something. I ain't gonna show you what it is because you're gonna have to check out Shokan's uh, page to see that, but I'll let you hear what we're doing. Close to the car? Don't get close to the point where I like can not yeah. open the door. Are you good? You ready? At like this, or like down more? No, straight up, like right there. Yeah. Yeah. We good? All right. Is that fucking? Yep. Way too far. Way, way too close. Way too close. How is that close? It's not close. Way too far. I thought I was lining up with him. You're gonna stop? Front wheel to back wheel. <laughs> I was just lining up. <laughs>
Alright, take two, boys. Tristan said no put. <laughs> so. <laughs> like, don't be afraid to slam on them. Okay, we're good. didn't spin like break loose as much as we wanted it to so we're gonna try again it was a good take though and it's usable if we can't get another good one but we're gonna try one more time oh that was a truck with lights on it that's scary no police stickers though we think they, we think they grabbed the plates We don't want those people in the truck to report the plate, so we're gonna dip. <laughs> 